Hi guys, so once again, Boris Johnson and the Brexiteers lie to the British people. So if you remember some time ago, Boris Johnson promised that chlorinated chicken would not be imported to the UK. He promised that food standards, environmental standards, animal welfare standards would increase after Brexit. Well, that was a big pile of steel, steaming crap. So what, what is this about? So um, yesterday in the House of Commons, the government and the Conservative Party pretty much entirely, not all of it, but in pretty much entirely, voted um, to ban against a ban on, for example, chlorinated chicken. But it's part of this uh, wider amendment. So what, what amendment am I talking about? This is Amendment 16. It's about securing legal safeguards on import standards. Now, this information is from uh, Greener UK, which is an... Uh, an an organization that um, receive input from different environmental and animal welfare standard, uh, animal welfare groups around the UK. But this is just to give you some background on um, Amendment 16. So it says, um, in order to increase the re resilience and sustainability of UK food and farming and achieve environmental and animal welfare goals, it is vital that farmers in the UK are not undercut America by imported food pro uh, produced to lower standards. In some cases, imported products may have been produced in ways that would be illegal in the UK, creating unfair competition and limiting the capacity of UK farmers to deliver public, uh, deliver public goods such as healthy soil and climate change uh, mitigation. Once again, the, the Tories are lying to the public lying to uh, the British people, telling them one thing one day and then voting completely different the next day. So let's have a look at, the, at how the vote turned out. So this is consideration um, consideration of Lords Amendment 16 Agricultural Bill, Agricultural Bill, sorry. Um, so the eyes 332, the nose 279. So how did this, uh, well, you can see clearly, completely blue. Conservative, 327. Uh, there were some other, uh, an independent who voted with the government. I can't see completely, but it seems it's majority, the Conservative Party. Those who voted against it, the Noes, Labour Party, uh, the SNP, uh, the Green Party, Liberal Democrats, okay. And some Conservatives. So credit to those Conservatives who voted against the government. Um who who voted f who voted for um you know who voted for this let's see some of the people we have adams uh, nigel adams well done nigel i hope you're going to be uh, feasting on chlorinated chicken andrew stewart i i don't know these uh, these mp's uh nikki alkin uh lee anderson I, uh, Lee Anderson, I I know Lee. Lee voted for it, so I'm, I'm sure he's going to be eating it. I'm sure you know all of these people are going to be uh, consuming this chlorinated chicken. It won't be just the poor people, you know. Uh, Lucy will also be enjoying it. Let's see who else. Um, Harriet, of course, Harriet will be enjoying it. Duncan Baker will will be enjoying it. Kimmy will be enjoying it. Uh, Steve uh, Barkley, of course. <laughs> um, Mr. John, Mr. John. <laughs> Um, I don't know why it's, it's giving the, the the name and then also the title. Uh, Suella will be enjoying it. Uh, Jack, of course, will will love chlorinated chicken. Yes, yeah, so you can be sure that these people will be eat uh, will be eating chlorinated chicken. Um, so let's actually see how it played out in Parliament. This is just disgusting, but let's hear what uh, how how it played out in, in the end. Minister, to move formally that this House disagrees with the Lords in their Amendment 16. The question is that this House disagrees with the Lords in their Amendment 16. As may as that opinion say, aye. 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 Of the contrary, no. 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 Division, clear the lobby. Order! Order! The eyes to the right, 332. The nose to the left, 279. The eyes to the right, 332. The nose to the left, 
279. So the eyes have it. The eyes have it. Unlock. So once again, the, the Tories voting, telling you one thing one day and voting the other way the next day. These people don't give a crap about the British people. They don't give a crap about environmental standards, animal welfare standards, the farmers, the farming communities. They don't give a crap about this. Like, I, I, I wonder how, many, how much it cost to buy these Tory MPs. Are there uh, agricultural lobbies in the United States who paid directly to get these votes? I don't know. Like, is it just the Brexit mentality? Oh, well, you know, Brexit, we have to lower standards because that's what Brexit is all about. Let's throw the poor people under the bus. Once again, those MPs that I pointed out, let's see them again. These people will not be eating chlorinated chicken. It will be poor people. And it's not just chlorinated chicken. It's all uh, standards are being lowered when it comes to agriculture. These people will be perfectly fine. They will not be suffering the consequences of this. But the poor will. It's disgusting. Really, it is disgusting. I'm sorry I'm ranting about this, but this really pisses me off. You know, people, some people come onto my channel and say, Who uh, what the hell do you care about? You're not living in the UK. I care about people in the UK. I have friends, I have family, I have relatives who live in the UK. I'm worried about them. I'm pissed off that, they, that this government is throwing them under a bus as well. These disgusting individuals. Once again, they will not suffer the consequences. They are on big, huge friggin' salaries. They'll be able to well, they'll well able, well able to be able to afford, uh, you know, the the higher food standards. It's the British public who will have to, will be exposed to these lower standards. And there is also talk of, and I don't know if it's going to go through or not, of removing labeling so that people don't actually know if the chlorinated chicken is coming from the United States or if it's actually produced in the UK or not. So um, American lobbies, you know, who are putting pressure on uh, their uh, negotiators in a future trade deal with the United States between the UK and the United States are putting pressure on their negotiators to put pressure on the UK to remove um, uh, origin, stand, uh, origin labels so that the British people don't even know that it's coming from the United States. So you can't just go into a supermarket and it's not just chlorinated chicken, it's many other things. You know, you can't say, well, I'll just become vegetarian and get away with it, get, get away from this. No, it's going to be many, there are going to be many um, agricultural products that will be affected. Chlorinated chicken is the most famous, hormone treated beef, are the, these two are the, the most famous, but it's going to affect many different products. Once again, the Brexiteers lying and Working class Brexiteers are going to suffer as well. When will people wake up and understand that Boris Johnson doesn't give a flying frig about them? The Tories don't give a flying crap about them. I, I really would like to know what they're, how they're benefiting, benefiting from this. Is it, sorry I'm stuttering, I'm just really angry. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot. I want to say a big, big thank you to all of my patrons. You ensure that this channel continues to exist. I'm eternally grateful for all of your support. If you join Patreon, you will receive instant access to our Discord server, where we have both audio and video chats. You can chat with me and other patrons, where we discuss important and non-important issues. Becoming a patron per month costs about the same as a large coffee. So why not check it out?